Welcome to Academic Guru's Tutoring Tuesday, where we answer all of your high school, college, and university questions. If you would like your question to be featured on next week's Tutoring Tuesday, please submit your questions to questions at academicgurusinc.com. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay current with all of our new videos. Alright, so today I'll be solving three questions that were sent in by Jessica. Alright, so for the third problem, we're going to solve for a logarithmic equation. Um, the key to solving these problems is, again, remembering your logarithmic properties. Um, this, is, this problem is kind of similar to our first problem where we had to recall our trig identities. So this is similar to the first problem. So using our properties, I would raise this x to the power of 2, and this is how I'm going to start the problem. So we're going to have log base 3 of x. Now it's going to be raised to the power of 2, so it's going to be log base 3 of x squared minus. I really can't do anything here, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. So it's going to be log base 3 of x times x plus 6 equals 1. Now I'm going to go back to my properties and whenever we have a minus sign here that means that we can use our division property. So it's going to be one solid logarithm base 3 and then we're going to have our x squared divided by x plus 6 equals 1. Now again we're going to go back to our properties so we're going to raise this tree to the power of 1 so logarithm goes away and then from there it's just going to be like a normal equation so let's see so we're going to have 3 raised to the power of 1 is just going to be 3 so I'm not going to write it again so it's going to be 3 equals to x squared all over x plus 6 and this is now just a normal equation that we have to solve for x. So I'm going to multiply both sides by x plus 6. So I'm going to have x plus 6. And I'm going to have x plus 6. These two divide out. So I'll be left with 3 times x plus 6 equals x squared. And now we can just simplify this. So 3 times x, it's going to give me 3x, 3 times 6, it's going to be 18. So I'm going to have plus 18 equals to x squared. Now I'm going to move everything here to the other side. So I'm going to have 0 equals to x squared. Since we have a positive 3x, when we move it to the other side, it's going to become negative. So we're going to have negative 3x and then positive 18. Again, when we move it to the other side, it's going to become negative. So we're going to have negative 18. And now, again, we have to solve for x. So let's see. I'm going to have my parentheses. So since we have a negative 18 here, okay, it's going to be 6 and 3. And since the biggest number is negative, we're going to use negative for 6. So it's going to be x minus 6, x plus 3, and then from here, let's see, we're going to have x minus 6 equals 0. And my x is going to be positive 6. That's going to be one of our solutions. The other solution is going to be x plus 3 equals 0. So we're going to get x equals to be negative 3. And remember, whenever we're dealing with logarithmic equations, we always have to check for extraneous solutions. So here we have negative 3, and we, we cannot take a log of a negative number. So this is going to be considered as our extraneous solution. So the only solution to this problem would be x equals positive 6. So there you have it for this problem. I hope this helps.
Thank you for tuning into our Tutoring Tuesday channel. If you enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. We would love to hear from you. Until next week's Tutoring Tuesday, happy studying.